In this video, we're gonna go over how to dangle like Dalian. And now that I've got his name right, uh, we can talk about the mechanics that he uses to dangle and the neural links that he uses to dangle. We're gonna make some comparisons between what he's doing and some of the speed skaters that you're seeing in the Olympics. Now, my name is Jason Yee. This is Train 2.0. I'm a professional hockey player, a kinesiologist, and I've helped thousands of players around the world by breaking down NHL and wizard mechanics from my perspective as both a pro hockey player and a kinesiologist. So we're going to jump into that right now. Now the first thing we're going to look at is Dalian's mechanics here. And the first thing I want you to see is just to notice that what a lot of power skating coaches say to do is to push, right? They say you push with your legs, and some people are going to look at this motion and they'll say, oh, look, he is pushing. But the truth is, is that he's actually making a C-cut. And that C-cut is made possible with mechanics that we call the tip tips. Uh, McDavid is very good at that. We'll see that twice here. The other thing we see is he goes from a wide tripod stance from here. And then as he tips his hips, notice as that as those hips tip, the leg can come underneath more. He'll actually put his knee into a what's called valgus knee alignment to get that and maintain a wide base of support. And this little swivel of the hips and the tipping of the hips takes him quite some distance from here all the way to here. And notice how there isn't actually a push, it's just a twist of the hips. That's the first thing. And we're going to see the same or similar mechanics here. Again, that's not a push, that's a C-cut. And then watch as he goes through this dangle, watch how much those hips tilt, twist, and tip. So there's quite a bit of tilting, twisting, and tipping going on there. And then this first stride isn't a push even though a lot of people say it is. It's a twist, watch this. Shoulders twist, hips twist, legs twist, valgus knee alignment. We've seen this many times before. Now, what is this similar to? This is similar to speed skating. So just look at, this, at these mechanics here. Look how similar they are. The first thing I want you to notice is that, now I know that um, uh, speed skating blades aren't rockered or profiled as some people say. Um, but look at how it's not really a push, it's more of a C cut like this. Take a look. Do you see that C cut and how the center of mass is over here and the skate is over here? That's the first thing. The second thing is notice how the hips swivel. The leg comes underneath, much like Darlene. Let's take a look here. Let's go back a little bit. What do we notice from here? Leg swivel underneath, outside edge. You see that? Legs like that, hips swiveled. Boom. What do we see here? Outside edge, swivel, and then through. C cut lean the body over. Notice the center of mass here, catching the outside edge, hip swivel, and then through. Notice how similar that is to delling. Outside edge, roll over, fall. Outside edge, roll over, fall. So those are the mechanics behind Deline's, uh dangling. The second thing is watching momentum, and we're not going to spend too much time on this part because uh, it is part of a larger conversation, but the, we're going to just kind of key on a few of the things that Delian is, is looking, and he has the mechanics to exploit this. We want to imagine that players are like trains on train tracks, so the way they're headed kind of has this momentum to it that can't be like abruptly altered. You can't make a hard turn like this because you're on tracks. So what Dalin is seeing is momentum heading this way and momentum headed this way. So the, where they can't go is right here. So he heads into that hole 
that they can't get to because look where their momentum carried them. So there's the first part. So you want to watch players' momentum and use their own momentum against themselves. The second thing, and this is the real wizardry here, and there's lots we can talk about in terms of his knee alignment, his ankle flexion, his again the, the twists and tip tilts, but or hips. Um, but the thing we're looking at here is the neural links. What's going on here? How he's connecting game situations to his own responses, and this is an awesome one because as this player is reaching, he's already thinking stick on puck. He's thinking he's got to get a stick on puck. Darlene puts it over here and really makes it look like this is the direction he's going. He does so by tilting his hips. He does so by kind of, this is kind of like a half step here as he drops the hips. And this causes, notice how it changes the defender's momentum from this way to this way. Right, so watch. You see right there, the momentum goes from here to there. And as that momentum goes from here to there, Darlene can expose that by putting the puck through the legs. Now his momentum's headed this way, and there's nothing he can do. So it's all about noticing momentum. That was the first play. And then in this case, it's all about manipulating momentum. So he has a momentum coming at him. He chooses to have it go this way, through the legs. Now that he has the momentum going the wrong way, he exploits it, and he does that again here. Boom. Noticing the momentum and is able to make a step around it. You see a lot of players using their hands uh, and not actually manipulating the momentum of players that they're playing against, and this causes their dekes not to work out. So this has been how to dangle like Darlene. And if you want to learn more about how to dangle like Darlene, um, it's not just as easy as watching it like we are here and, um, you know, just applying it. There are step-by-step -step, uh, instructions that you guys can do in order to learn. The first part is learning the magic mechanics, which our Train 2.0 members are doing, and they're getting really great results, scoring lots of goals and winning, helping their team win. And then you can also learn more about the Dangle by Design course, which is, uh, there's a waiting list for it um, that you can sign up for right now. So you guys can check that out by clicking through to the little thingy up over in this direction. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Is there anything I missed that is similar between the speed skaters and Darlene? Um, is there anything else missing in this analysis? Anything that can be cleared up? Let me know your thoughts and let me know how you think he's going to do in the NHL because I'm excited. The guy is a wizard. Thank you for watching.